little sugar buggers, welcome back to the channel. So today I have another creative sim for you and it is called the Opposite Best Friends Cast. This cast is a little bit unique in its own right because it's not only a creative sim, it is actually a huge, massive collab with a ton of other simmers in the simming community. That's right, I want you to go ahead and take a peek down below the sun doesn't shine and check out all the other simmers videos and also maybe meet some new faces along the way to add to your simming library. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the message of this cast and also a little bit about the sims I have created today. First and foremost, this is basically a kind of symbol of how no matter, you know, all the different faces and all the different people that are in this community, we can come together regardless of our our, our backgrounds, ethnicities, you know, beliefs and all that jazz and kind of coincide as one. A little bit about my sims, I have created three very different sims. First one was Spencer, the guy in the beginning. He is kind of a little bit of a computer nerd. He is definitely different from the rest of the gang in the terms of, you know, he just kind of likes to stay to himself and he loves to be on the computer and practice programming and all that jazz and that kind of always made him a little bit of an outcast. But the rest of his friends, Chandler and Wendell, have gladly accepted him for who he is. Well, at least they did when they were kids. So this is Chandler. Chandler has always been kind of a super duper duper um, bougie kind of girl. She's not a snob or anything like that, but uh, she's always kind of felt like she was... Um, you know, the creme de la creme, I guess. I don't know. She's not full of herself and she's actually a really sweet girl, but she always dreamed of better um, and becoming possibly a very wealthy sim in the future. So we're going to move on to Wendell, who will be the very last sim. He is a little bit of a rebel. He was definitely, you know, not a problem child when he grew up, but his family were very, very, very strict. As this whole entire... Um, I guess best friends group grew up on the exact same street in Willow Creek. Like they all came from the exact same neighborhood and that's how they met. That's how they, they met on this very playground that you guys saw in the beginning and they grew up together. And again, although they grew up on the same street, they all have very different personalities and backgrounds and stuff. And I guess you could say Wendell was an outcast too, just like Spencer, but in a completely different way because he wasn't, um, you know, freaking form-fitting to his family's like beliefs and, and what they wanted for him. Um, super, super, super duper duper like strict parents and he kind of lashed out and uh, it created a rift, a rift in, the, in the friendships as they got older too because he kind of felt like he wanted to go do his own thing and, and, and Chandler kind of felt like she was not too good for the friends but she had appearances to keep up in school kind of becoming the more popular girl and that really broke Wendell's heart um, but more so Spencer because Spencer was the one who was actually in love with her since they were kids, since they were little itty bitty babies. Um growing up on Willow Creek Lane and he never really got the chance to express it to her. He never really got to tell her um, how he felt. He was always scared that she would reject him, turn him down, and that would hurt him more than it was worth. Well, the high school reunion is just around the corner. In fact, that is why they were all spiffed up in their fanciest of duds and they were waltzing down the street because they were walking to the Willow Creek High School for a reunion. Their 10th year reunion or it's like a decade reunion high school reunion and uh, today is the day that Spencer is going to muscle up the courage to go ahead and tell Miss Chandler how he really feels if she's there of course and I'm kind of curious to see how she's gonna go ahead and handle that and Wendell also wants to kind of put his differences aside and reunite with the gang and hopefully become friends again. Wendell has a secret that he hasn't revealed to either Spencer or Chandler and that is that he is he's he is gay and that's just the way that it is. He's afraid that his friends aren't going to accept him for who he is, but he knows that at the end of it all, no matter what life paths that you know, they have been carried away on. He has good faith that his friends will accept him um, in every sense of the word. So I'm pretty excited to see what you guys do with these uh, best friends and how they progress through life. If you guys are interested on in downloading these three, I will totally have them available for you on the gallery. This time they are 100% CC free because I went ahead and checked and just double made sure. It's always like this pesky mole or something that uh, latches on to The Sims and I can't see it. And it's like, that's the CC. It's crazy. But hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up and also let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine and for the usual I will see you all next time bye guys